Lord. We're gonna have to bleep that out. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of cool what's in my gym bag video slash I thought it'd be fun to do a review of some of the new products that I have been using lately um, and new like supplements I've been trying and all that fun stuff. So this is the gym bag I have. I have had this for a long time now. You can tell because on this side it is ripping at the bottom. So we're gonna we're gonna need to replace that soon, but for now I'm just kind of keeping it while it's on its last leg because I think it's super cute. I love the little I did my best thing, even though I like inevitably get like at least one snarky comment on it, like a month. Like someone's like, oh, ha, huh, you did your best, didn't you? And I'm like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I've got all sorts of stuff in here. The first thing I kind of wanted to talk about is so I bit the bullet finally and I have been thinking about getting the uh, Grace Fit UK like those um, resistance bands and all of that stuff for a while now um, and finally just bit the bullet and got it so I got the little combo pack that comes with it comes with a barbell pad it comes with ankle straps and it comes with the world's cutest resistance band it's covered in like peach emojis and fire emojis which is just like Adorable. Also, yeah, it's all orange, which is very off, like, out of the norm for me, because usually I would be going with all pink. So, we're we're mixing things up over here. Um, but yeah. So basically, I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna do a brief little extended product review, because um, I think that one of the things that's actually like I didn't even realize this after, until after I'd bought it because I just bought it because I'd heard good things about it it's actually a better deal than if you were gonna go buy like pretty much these same products off of Amazon so like the resistance band like a resistance band that's like structured like this is like usually almost twenty dollars that one of these is almost twenty dollars and the ankle straps are probably like ten or twelve so that's like fifty dollars right there and I think my total for all three of those plus shipping was like $47. Just because you're getting like, I don't know, like branded sponsored YouTuber um, merch. It's actually a pretty good deal. So that's pretty cool. Um, and like the products themselves are actually great. So I also have in here somewhere, I have another resistance fan. So I have had this one for ages. It's just like the fit girl one. I feel like everyone, and their mother recommends this on Amazon. Um, but it's just like a base, it's like the basic like hip circle. And honestly, I thought this one was difficult. And then I tried this one. And um, yeah, no, there's the amount of stretch in this, there's actually like significantly more than in this guy. This guy makes you work for it. Um, and also I there's a slight sizing difference too. Like this one's a little bit narrower, um, which I think this might be a large. And so that might be part of the problem and why it's so big. So I keep this one around cause it's nice for like things where you like need a wider range of motion. Um, but if you're looking for a resistance band that really does provide a ton of resistance, boom, got you covered. And then the ankle straps, these are pretty standard. Uh, I've seen ones on Amazon that are a bit more padded, which I suppose could be nice, but like I don't, I'm always wearing leggings anyways, so like it's never like I like feel them up against my skin, so these work perfectly fine. I like having two of them. Two of them makes a big difference when you are, versus like just having one and switching legs, which is what I usually did when I was using like the gym equipment ones. Um, and now my new gym doesn't even have ankle straps, so this is the only way I can do anything that involves like kickbacks or anything without like sticking my foot in a handle um which is not fun i don't like that um and it falls off and it, you get like the weight gets distributed weirdly ankle straps are the way to go if your gym doesn't have them buy them so these are pretty standard pretty good um no no complaints um and then the last is this little barbell pad um one of the things that I noticed about this is that it doesn't quite wrap all the way around the bar. That is the literally the only issue I have with any of these three items is that this just doesn't quite go all the way around the bar. So sometimes if the bar shifts, 
like you have to make sure that you get it positioned properly because otherwise then you just get like the bar directly on your hips and that's not fun so um that's like i think the only issue i have with this but i also one of the things too like i suppose i can't complain <laughs> too much because Honestly, one of the things that I liked the most about this in comparison to buying just like the regular ones they sell on Amazon is that all of this stuff is vegan. Um, and I am not, like I'm not a vegan myself and I'm not the type of person who, um, I do intentionally search out like cruelty free things but I don't intentionally search out vegan things. Um, but I mean, when things are vegan and cruelty free like that's, I feel like much better about purchasing them and much better about like the environmental impact. So, if that is something you care about too, like, that's a big selling point for these versus the, um, uh, versus, like, what you would find on Amazon. That is all of that. Uh, I also, in here, I have just, like, literally a random Lululemon towel, um, that's honestly, like, eh. oh, wow, this is really dirty. I just use this whenever I like don't like trust the bench that I'm about to lay on. Um, so I've got a portable charger in here because I have a tendency to get to the gym and my phone battery will be dead, my AirPods battery will be dead, my Apple Watch will be dead, something will have died and I need to charge it. So I always keep a power pack in here. Um, I have so many random things in here. I have a pair of gloves because it is freezing in like DC now and I they're just something that I never remember and then I'm like walking to the gym and can't feel my hands also a pair of socks because every time like that I try to like go somewhere and then go to the gym afterwards I don't know why but I'm so bad at remembering to pack socks so I always keep an extra pair in here because otherwise I end up like wearing like knee-high fuzzy socks with my leggings and sports bra and like it's a look but it's not a good one <laughs> And then, let's see, all right, let's keep digging. I have a little bottle of micellar water, that pronunciation, uh, in here. It, it's, it's in here optimistically as if I ever actually take off my makeup before I work out. That is like my biggest, like, not okay habit is that I don't take my makeup off before I work out. Um, but honestly, like my skin doesn't react, like my skin doesn't break out as a result. So, uh, if you've got sensitive skin though, like by all means, take your makeup off. But it, personally, I, it doesn't bother me and it makes me feel a little bit more confident in the gym. So, we go with it. And then I also just have, I keep both of my um, blender bottles in my gym bag when I'm not using them, like after I've washed them. Um, just because I don't have a place for them in my cabinets. So we just stick them right back in my gym bag and I mix everything up before I go. Uh, as far as supplements that I'm currently using, um, I've been using the like, just, I feel like this is like the like standard stuff that everyone uses the C4 pre-workout. Um, it's a good bargain on Amazon, honestly. That's my, that is my main motivation for using it. Also, while I was like with my parents over the holidays, I was using the pre-mixed ones and I accidentally bought the ones that have like 300 milligrams of caffeine and I accidentally drank the entire, like an entire one of them before a workout and no. <laughs> I have a high caffeine tolerance and that almost like, no, <laughs> that is too much caffeine. But like this has, um, 150, which is much more reasonable. I have been using this basically since I started lifting back uh, over a year ago now. Um, and yeah, I just, I like the taste. Um, I'm still like, I've read scientific studies that like prove BCAAs do things, but I've never really like noticed anything dramatic when I'm using versus not using them. I honestly just like how they taste. And I like having something like sweet um, during my workout and then so basically what I do is at one point I had separate blender bottles and then it just got really hard to carry like three around at once um, So I just fill this I drink my pre-workout and once I'm done with it I fill it up with water again And I usually have a little like a Tupperware thingy like this with a scoop of BCAAs in it And then I mix it up right at the gym and it saves a little bit of space which is 
nice. And then finally with protein, I am currently working on a thing of the Quest chocolate, which is very out of the ordinary for me because I hate chocolate protein uh, normally. But someone turned me on to the idea of using chocolate protein powder and then mixing in like four drops of peppermint extract. And it's like a chocolatey mint, peppermint mocha, minus the coffee thing. And oh, that is so good. I had that basically all through December because it was all very like Christmassy. Um, and then I now still have some left. So I'm still doing peppermint mocha because even the Christmas season is done. That's, yeah, that's my supplements. <laughs> Honestly, the rest of what's in here is just a giant disaster um things just make their way in here i have some of these little coily hair ties because i got yelled at at one point um by a hairstylist for using regular hair ties because it was ripping my hair out and now that i like bleach it aggressively on a regular basis um it breaks even more so i've been banned from using regular hair ties and i can only use these weird coily ones everything in here is just it's not worth discussing. It's like coins and a comb, which I don't, why would I comb my hair in a gym? Um, and more deodorant, a charger to something that I don't know what it plugs into, which is always good. Um, yeah, that's, everything else in there reminds me that I need to clean out my gym bag more often. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. So if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, you can go ahead and give me a little love in that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next week for next week's video. Bye, guys.